Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim, he's AC, this is the Cash Kelly and AC Sports Report 2011 World Series Preview. It is the Texas Rangers squaring off against the upstart St. Louis Cardinals. Game 1 will be tomorrow night at, I believe, 8 o'clock. I'll pull up the exact schedule as we speak. But uh, AC, overall, what comes to your mind about this World Series? Uh... Uh, a couple of things. One, probably the biggest aspect is unexpected. Um, nobody really saw the Rangers coming in and going to the World Series for a second straight year. And the Cardinals, who were ten and a half games out of the wild card race uh, at the end of August, just come out of nowhere. So it's, it's two teams. Uh, I personally think they're exciting to watch. Not so much in my case with the Cardinals, because we got, you know... Yeah, you guys know what happened. And, uh, you know, I, I think it should be a good series. I think it has the potential to go uh, to a seven-game series, and I think it'll be a good series to watch. you got some uh, a, a different type of series than a lot of people expected because the pitching is not as strong um, and timely hitting, and uh, bullpens are key in this series, I think. Yeah, and maybe the hitting not being as strong will draw people to this series. Look... This is not going to be a highly rated World Series, but don't let what people are saying keep you from watching the World Series. If you want to sit down and watch the World Series, do it, because it only comes once a year. We said pretty much the same exact thing last year. The World Series sucked last year. I apologize to Giants fans, but there really has not been a good World Series in about eight years. I mean, it's hard for a World Series to just be good. It's either great or it's uh, one team is better than the other, and it's pretty obvious. The last really good one I can remember is Marlins and Yankees. I mean, I can remember ones that I liked because the Phillies won or were in it, whatever, but there hasn't been a great World Series, and you never know which one's going to be the great one. Let's run through the schedule. Game 1 will be tomorrow night, 8.05, in St. Louis. The Cardinals, because the National League won the wild card, have home field advantage. Game 2 on uh, Friday, 8.05, or, uh, yeah, it's on uh, Thursday, not Friday. 8.05, Texas at St. Louis. Then you got game three. We'll shift over to Texas as we'll forward five. 8.05 start time. That is what all these games are. That will be on Saturday. Uh, Sunday, 8.05 in Texas. And all five, six, and seven if they're necessary. Game five will be in Texas on Monday. On Wednesday, Game 6 will be in St. Louis, and Game 7 would be on a Thursday. So hopefully next Thursday we're talking about crowning a World Series champion and not uh, Monday or whatever the deal may be there. So let's break this down like we only do on this show. Uh, game 1, C.J. Wilson versus Chris Carpenter. Who does the edge go to in your mind? I think the edge has to go to Chris Carpenter. He's been hot throughout these playoffs. He's, you know, sort of halfway carried this team uh, when it most needed it. Game 5 of the uh, NLDS comes to mind, unfortunately. And uh, C.J. Wilson, let's be honest, he struggled in the playoffs. He had a great regular season, but he struggled in his first couple outings. Uh, he only ha He's only pitched like 15 innings in like three games. So, I mean, I think the edge, even though they're both on full rest, and even though the Rangers have a little bit more rest than the Cardinals, I gotta go with Carpenter in this one. Yeah, I agree. I mean, C.J. Wilson gave up six runs last time. I don't, I don't see that happening. But uh, overall, Chris Carpenter, I view as a better pitcher than C.J. Wilson. There have been some questions about his elbow, but assuming he's healthy, because what else can we really do? I can't sit here and tell you, oh, he's not actually healthy. They're lying to you. I don't know, so I'm not going to pretend I do. I'm going to go off what we know, and I'm going to give the edge in Game 1 to Chris Carpenter. Game 2, Colby Lewis versus... These are all perspe our, uh, all our guesses afterwards. Colby Lewis versus Edwin Jackson. Who do you think? Or no, actually, Game 2 is going to be Colby Lewis versus Jaime Garcia. Who do you give the edge to there? Um, I don't know. I think that's more of a toss-up than anything. A lot of these games are toss-ups, frankly, because... You know, these pitchers aren't... All right, let's just throw it out there. The greatest, they're not the best. But uh, I, I, I would give a slight edge to Colby Lewis, probably. Yeah, I agree, because Colby Lewis has had success in the playoffs. I wouldn't be surprised if Jaime Garcia goes out there and throws a no-hitter. Well, no, that sounds stupid. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Jaime Garcia goes out there and gives you seven or eight really good innings. But I'm going to bet that C.J. Wilson's going to do it. Or uh, Kobe Lewis. Game three, Derek Holland versus Edwin Jackson. What are you thinking about that game? I'm going to say Edwin Jackson. Yeah. Just so... Just solely for the fact that I think the uh, the Cardinals are, I, I, I don't know. I, I, th this is a gut feeling more than anything, Edwin Jackson. I'm going to go with Derek Holland. I like what he's done so far, and I think he can really step it up there. Game four, Matt Harrison versus Kyle Loesch. Look, think what you want to think. You don't even know if that they wouldn't go back to game one. If it's a 2-1 or even a 3-0 series, which we're hoping it's not, you really think they're going to trot out Matt Harrison versus Kyle Loesch? No, the Aces will be coming back for that game, uh, at least in the case of the team that's losing. So I'm not even going to waste time prospecting on that game. Home field advantage, obviously, with the Cardinals. In Vegas, the Rangers are the favorite. That never seems to be right. So that, to me, means about nothing because they're just trying to trick you so you pay more money. And uh, we're going to break down a few other things now. In your mind, going through these lineups, who has a better lineup? On paper, I would say the Rangers. Um, but the Cardinals lineup, the thing about the Cardinals lineup is in this playoffs is they've come through when they needed to. And, you know, maybe, maybe they'll do it again. They seem to be the hot team right now. Uh, but uh, on paper, I, I would definitely take... I don't, I don't want to say definitely because that sounds like there's a huge edge to the Rangers lineup. But I, would, I, I think I'd take the Rangers lineup over the Cardinals lineup if I had the choice. On paper, I agree with you right now. I mean, on paper, I'm going to take Adrian Beltre over David Freese any day of the week. And I know Beltre had three home runs in the clinching game of the ALDS, but David Freese through the NLCS, he raked through the NLDS, he did it even. I mean, this guy has been really clutch so far in the playoffs, and I'm going to give the edge right now to the Cardinals because I think Tony Larusa knows how to pull the strings better. Guys like uh, Adron Chambers, I think he knows how to put guys in and make them successful. Ryan Terrio, those type of guys he is going to have success with. That being said, overall, the Rangers have a better lineup. They can do things like have Moreland play first and have Young DH. They can have Napoli DH and Young play first base. Nelson Cruz is a boss. Josh Hamilton's a boss. Uh, I mean, really, there it would favor the Rangers lineup in my mind. But the Cardinals, even without guys like David Freeze stepping up, have a very good lineup, and they uh, that's one of, been one of the big things for them in the playoffs. Rafael for calls played pretty well, and he has a great glove. He can lay down a bunt. Manager-wise, and I think that's going to be crucial in this series. What do you think? Manager wise, I gotta go with Larusa. Um, he's he has the experience, you know. He's he's a tenured manager. He he wins games and he fi he finds way he fi he always finds a way to get it done when it matters. And you know sometimes his weird moves don't pan out, and he's famous for that. But um, I I gotta give the edge to Larusa. Not that Ron Washington hasn't done a good job. Because he definitely has. I mean, they've been to the World Series two years in a row. He's got to be doing something right. But I, I give the edge to La Russa for this one. Yeah, no, I agree with that completely. Um, all this being said, and I agree with you on the Tony La Russa thing, although it's playing, watching a game where Tony La Russa's in annoys me because he, oh. he feels the need to make a pitching change like every batter. That's yeah, that pisses me off. That's the bottom line. X factor in this series, who you got? Uh, my X factor in this series, mm, it, it, it's tough to it's tough to predict an X factor. Um, but I, I I think David Freeze really, if he if he steps up like he's been and he keeps hitting the way he's hitting, it's gonna be tough to stop the Cardinals lineup. My X factor is Adrian Beltre. He had some trouble staying healthy down the stretch of that last series, and it's also the Cardinals bullpen. Who was one of, in the regular season were one of the worst bullpens in like the history of the MLB and have been very good in the playoffs. All of this coming together, what do you think as far as a prediction and why? Uh, I'm gonna say close series, 
just throwing that out there. It's going to be a lot of close games. I think you're going to see maybe some weird scores like 12 to 9 or something like that, maybe one night, and then like, you know, the normal 3 to 2 the next night. So I think it's going to be up and down as far as scores, but I think it will go to six or seven games, and I think the Cardinals win it at home in six or seven games. Because, and I've seen this over the past couple of years, not only in baseball but in all of sports, the hot teams win. Plain and simple, they win. The Cardinals are coming into this series, you know, they're, they're playing good baseball right now, and there's no reason for them to stop. And that's my prediction. If I'm going with them. Yeah, um, I I like what I've said about the Cardinals, but when you look at what this Rangers lineup has done, I mean, they made Justin Verlander look like just a good pitcher, not a great pitcher. Nelson Cruz, through two years in the playoffs, is one of the most clutch players that's ever stepped on a diamond during the playoffs. I mean, this guy has done everything they've asked. He seems always to hit that key home run. Michael Young, Ian Kinsler... Adrian Beltre, I mean, the pitching edge goes to the Cardinals, but it's not that big of an edge. And the bullpen edge, the Rangers' bullpen is stacked, and no matter what has been said about the Cardinals' bullpen, they've been good in the playoffs, but I'm sorry. The Cardinals do not have a good enough bullpen to beat the Rangers. You said a lot of these games are going to come down to the bullpen. I agree, and I think that favors the Texas Rangers, who have a slightly better lineup, and uh, I see the Rangers in six. I learned last year not to pick in seven. I took the Rangers in seven. I think that was more of a me hoping we'd get a classic World Series. I hope we do, but until I actually see one in uh, recent memory, I'm not going to go for that. Game, seven game World Series, predicting that is just almost stupid. So, that is our World Series prediction. AC has the Cardinals in how many games? I'm going to go with six. And I have the Rangers in six. So we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for all year being with us as far as baseball coverage. It will continue through the off season. Check out BlitzSportsNetwork.com, Blitz Hardcore Podcast, all that great stuff. Check out our channel, blah, 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 blah. Uh, subscribe. I think we reached 900 subscribers. People like to do a video. For me, it's a number... Thank you guys for subscribing to us, and keep watching because that's really what we care about. We'll see you later.